the move copy parallel tool or the offset tool to get to that tool we'll go to our main mode out pull down and we'll go to these sets of tools right here that says manipulate and we're going to select the one that says move parallel in your move parallel tool you have three different options you got element which will do the whole entire element you can do a segment of the element or you can do a portion of the element so let's demonstrate the element first of all you have some different modes would you have miter round and original we're just going to leave it set to original you can define a distance so if you have a distance that you want to offset something let's say a distance of two you can define that and whenever you try to offset something or move copy parallel it's going to do it to that distance another option that you have is use active attributes so if you want to take on the active attributes here at the top versus what the element is that you're offsetting from, you could do that. And then also you have the option to make a copy if you want to make a copy of that element or not. Right now we just have it set to a distance of two. First of all, you identify the object that you want to offset. And let's just do this box here. We'll select it. Determine which direction that you want to go, whether it's inside or outside. We're going to just do it to the outside. And we'll left click to accept it. And it offset that box two feet from its original shape. Of course, it didn't make a copy of it because we didn't have make copies toggled on. And also, it used the, active, it used the attributes <clears throat> of the original object whenever it offset that particular object. If we had used active attributes checked on, it would have used these attributes here at the top. So if I do an undo, and I toggle this on, and then I'll toggle make copies on also, and I'll do the same thing. I'll left click on the element. I'll left click again to accept it. I could keep going if I keep left clicking, but if I'm done and I'm finished with the tool, I'll right click to reset it. And now you'll see that it offset it two feet from its original object, but it made a copy of it, and it used the active attributes there, there at the top. So that's what that option will allow you to do for the element. You do have the option that says segment of element. So if I just do want to do a segment of, of the element, let's say just one side of this box, or maybe a portion of this circle, you could do that. I'll still leave it set to original. I'll just do a dynamic this time versus putting in a distance. And you still have the same option of use active attributes. So I'll toggle on the one that says use active attributes. Now on this box here I'm going to define which side of the box that I want to offset. I'm going to do the top top portion of it. I'll left click to accept it. And now I'm just doing it dynamically so I'll to place it wherever I need to place it at. Left click to drop it off. I could keep going but if I'm finished with it I'll right click to reset it and I'm finished. Or if I had a defined distance I could put a defined distance in there, left click on one of the sides, figure out which side that I want to go on, left click to accept it, right click to reset it if I'm finished, and now it offset it three feet since I had that defined. So that'll do a segment of an element. Won't do it for a circle because the circle is just one segment. But if I come in and use the one that says portion of an element, you still have these same options down below here and I'll just leave those set as is here's where you can do a portion of the element so let's say I just want to do maybe this corner right here and offset it or maybe a portion of this circle you could do that using this option that says portion of element first of all you have to identify where you want it to start from okay I'm going to select this top portion right here now it's going to say specify a second point and I'm going to use this as my second point point. and now you'll notice that it's doing a portion of that element so if I want to left click to accept it since I already have these defined I'll left click to accept it right click to reset it and I'm finished and I can do the same thing for this box right here I'll left click once for my first point snap to another portion of it left click again depend on how that box for it was created now I can identify which side that I want to go on I'll just do on the lower side of it right click to reset it and I'm finished 
So that's what the portion of an element does. So you have three different methods. You have element, segments, and portion. And then also you have some different modes through here. Most of the time you'll just use the one that says original and with these other options down below here, depending on how you want to offset that particular element. Another option that you do have inside your move parallel tool, and I'm going to do a few undos. You do have the option that says define distance. So let's say we had a distance, or let's say we want to offset this circle to this endpoint right here, but we had no idea what that distance was. We could come in here and use that define distance toggle right here. And now it's going to say enter first point to measure distance down in your status bar. Identify your where your start point will be. And I'll snap to that. Now you'll see kind of a dashed line being constructed out there. Wherever you snap to next will be your distance that it's going to put in to this box. So if I snap to this box right here or to this endpoint, it automatically puts in that distance. So the next time I try to offset something right now, as long as I have my distance option checked on, it's going to offset that particular element 9.3488 feet. So if I define the box, of course it's going to do the box. Or if I did the circle, it would do the circle. If I left click to accept it, it's going to place that circle out there and offset it 9.3488 feet. So that's what that little toggle there will allow you to do. So that's the move parallel or the offset tool in MicroStation.